Hello everyone. Welcome to my first mukbang. I'm excited because I'm hungry and I cannot wait to eat. It is currently 9.03 so I waited all this time just so I could do this mukbang. So this mukbang is from a black owned business. And it's called Jordan and Johnson Seafood. I've ate there plenty of times and I was scrolling through Instagram and somebody had a picture of like um, shrimp and then corn and broccoli and I was like, oh my gosh, I want this. So right after work, I went there and I picked me up some food and we're going to get right into it. So I have corn on the cob, extra because I love corn on the cob. I got some, look at that, mm, some shrimp, grilled shrimp at that, I'm on a diet, so I can't eat anything like that, so grilled shrimp, I had some more corn on the cob, some broccoli, because I love broccoli, I got some, some rice, some white rice, looks so good, and I got me some chicken, oh my. I tell you, I'm about to get into this. Like, I'm about to get into this. I am so hungry. I haven't ate since 12 o'clock, around 12:15, when I had lunch at work. And more broccoli, and then this is fried rice. Look at this big old thing. Why the heck did I get all this food? No, and I'm not gonna eat all this. But anyway, so. Fork. Oh my gosh, what should I try first? I'm gonna try this. Oh, and it has egg in it. Can you see this? Mm. Oh, and of course to drink, I have a Bud Light Lime favorite beer, Sauvignon Blanc, Black Box, because I'm growing and I can have this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. I'm going to eat some broccoli. Looks like they, uh, they put it on the grill. some of this chicken. Actually, I got the chicken to put in the rice. Let's taste both of, both of them together. Oh, and I tell you, their food is so good. If you live in the Philadelphia area, y'all gotta go check them out. I remember the first time I went there, it was a bunch of us. It was like, matter of fact, my son, my oldest son, he was in a play. So right there, right after his performance, we went there. It was like seven of us. And um, so they didn't really have a kid's menu. So I just ordered like something like, I think I ordered the kids like shrimp and broccoli, something like that. I figured that'd be good um, at a black owned restaurant. So, and I tell you, it was huge. Like, three people could eat off, and it was just two for my two youngest. And then the chef came out. I was like, oh my gosh, is this your first time here? And we were like, yeah. And then he was like, oh my gosh, I wish I, I would have known it was kids. I got like chicken fingers. Would you like some? So, not only did he come out and introduce himself, but he also gave my kids chicken finger platters, chicken finger and fries, which is so nice. And then another time I ordered from him, um, he was doing like a special with a seafood box. So it kind of like shrimp, crab, I don't eat crab, but it was for my husband for his birthday. It was like shrimp, crab, rice, everything. Every kind of corn, broccoli, potatoes, scallops, 
everything. So after I ordered it, I had to order it through Instagram. So I told him, oh my gosh, it was like really like, he was like, how do you like it? Like really tell me your honest opinion. Because, you know, anything that's wrong with it, you know, we try to fix it. Which I love. So I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, that was really nice of him to reach out. This is so bomb. All right, let's get into these shrimp. Mm -mm. Look at that. I like, I'm not I'm not a seafood eater, but I love me some shrimp. Like shrimp is the way to my heart. Look at that. Look at all that garlic. Y'all see that? Mm-mm. I got my corn. <laughs> you know what? I'm so particular about my corn. I don't like the sweet corn on the cob. I just like regular corn. And this is regular corn. I'm loving it. So I want to talk to y'all about all this nonsense that's going on. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, like just Elijah. Elijah McCain. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all that broke my heart. And I think it hit I think it hit me more because my son is an introvert. He's like very shy. He don't really talk to nobody. Like he's really like to himself. And just to like imagine the pain that he went through. Like all I can think about was my child. And I'm like, any of my kids, like, it's it's horrible how they treat us. It really is. And if you're not black and you're another race and this hasn't opened your eyes, there's really something wrong with you. I feel bad for your mind state because if you don't see the, the unjust and black people, there's something wrong with you. You don't have to be black to realize what the hell is going on. Like, this is truly racism. They have something against us. They don't like us. They, they're angry at their situations or whatever they have going on. And then when they see us, they just take all their anger out on us. And it's not right. It really isn't. And I'm just so sick of seeing everything that's going on. Like, it is truly heartbreaking. And for me, I have three boys. So this is just like, what are they going to have to deal with in 10, 20 years? Like, what else? We've been marching for years and nothing has happened. And like, but like, let me know what's your favorite beer, if you drink beer. Um, Don't mind my shiny face. I just got out of the shower. I did my whole skin care routine. So if you are interested, let me know. Let it, let me know in the comments. And I'll put y'all down with my skin care routine. I'll, 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 I'll put y'all on to something. I don't know what I was thinking. Excuse me. Ordering all this food, right? I just feel like I'm going back and forth, back and forth. So skinny my third one I finally started gaining weight like my arms was never this big like ever so I enjoy my weight my son is he'll be five in September so from like one to now I've been this weight and I enjoyed it I didn't see anything wrong with it but I did realize I started to get you know my stomach started to get bigger and I was just like okay I need to cut back on a lot of stuff because I love sweets. And that's my problem. Candy. I love me some candy. But, take it one day at a time. I've been eating like. Not nothing I would never do but I've been wanting to do this for the longest time so 
I'm going to do it. I am getting my nose pierced. It's so funny to say so like all week I've been looking at YouTube videos of like different people of course I would never pierce my own nose but just different people's reactions and when they're getting their nose pierced so I am going to take you guys along all right well I think I'm going to end this video I've been talking way too much and eating way too much so now I feel like I have to go work out but I'm not because I'm going to bed I'll work out tomorrow morning Oh, if you want to see my workout routine, let me know. I'm probably going to film that too because I've been, it's hard, man. It really is hard, but I've been trying to stick to it. At least I try to do two exercises each morning, but then I take a break like a, for a couple of days just to let my body rest. But let me know. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I truly enjoyed it because I'm a fat girl, as you can see. I just like to eat everything. Um, so like, comment, subscribe to our channel. We we you know we coming out with these content. So stick around. Peace. <laughs>